Let's talk about how the US men need to run a 4x200 meter relay this year. Now, the 4x2 world record was set by Jamaica back in 2014 at the World Relay. So we're coming up on about eight years since that record was set. Johan Blake led that team with Nicole Ashmead, Jermaine Brown, and Warren Rear. They ran a time of one minute, 18.63 seconds. The record that they broke was set all the way back in 1994. So we're talking about 20 years of that record standing. And I think it's pretty clear right now in 2022, specifically right now, the US has a plethora of 200 meter guys that they can put together and probably with various different combinations, break that four by 200 meter world record. Considering all the talent of these guys, that record is pretty much on borrowed time. So let's take a look at why that record should go down and some of the contenders for that four by 200 meter relay team. First off with Jamaica and that four by two team, Again, they ran one minute, 18.63 seconds. That averages to about 19.66 seconds per leg. Of course, we know each of the runners doesn't have a personal best of 19.66. Nickel Ashmead, best of 19.85. Warren Weir, his best was 19.79. Jermaine Brown, his best was only 20.28 seconds. While Johan Blake, number two all time, 19.26 seconds. If we added all their personal bests up, it only gets us to 1 minute 19.18 seconds. So why is it a little bit slower than the actual record they ran? We know that there's tons of factors that lead to a relay being a little bit faster or sometimes even a little bit slower than what personal bests all add up to. You have the running starts, huge factor there. The baton and the handoffs, right? You also have each athlete maybe not running exactly 200 meters. Tons and tons of factors play into why the time is actually a little bit different from what their PBs are. So one minute, 19.18 seconds, dropping down to one minute, 18.63 seconds, about half a second for all those factors. That does make a little bit of sense. We can understand that. Now let's take a look at the US men and some of the contenders that they have. Of course, we have Fred Curley. We have Michael Norman. We have Kenny Benarek. We have Noah Lyles. I didn't even talk about some of the other guys, but just those four right now. Let's look at their personal best. Fred Curley, personal best of 19.76 seconds. Michael Norman, best of 19.70 seconds. Kenny Benarek, silver at the Olympics, best of 19.68. Noah Lyles, the fastest of the bunch, 19.50 seconds. And these guys have essentially proven themselves to be extremely consistent. Noah Lyles has run 19.5 multiple times. Kenny Benarek last year, he ran sub 20 13 times, 19.6, 19.7 multiple times. Fred Curley and Michael Norman, we see them blasting off fast times already early this year. So if we add up all their personal bests, that gets us to a time of one minute, 18.64 seconds. So literally a hundredth of a second off that world record. But like I said, some of the other factors, running starts, baton handoffs, right? Everyone's not running 200 meters. All these varying factors are gonna play into why the world record time might be a little bit faster. So if we took off half a second from the Jamaicans, let's say we take off half a second for the United States, that gives us just about one minute, 18.1 seconds. So almost 118 flat. Clearly these athletes are more than capable of running that. And I think a lot of these guys are gonna be much faster this year. So we can see them under 118 if they got together on a four by two. I didn't even mention some of the other names that the US has though. Arian Knighton, Terrence Laird, let's throw Christian Coleman, let's throw Craven Gillespie in there. Both of them have run under 20 seconds. These are all guys who are active in the 200 meters right now and can really put a good leg up on a relay. I think if we put any combination of these guys up, that world record is gone. Now, do I think this record is actually going to go down? No, not this year. I mean, when do we ever see the athletes get together for a four by one, let alone a four by two, right? We have pen relays coming up this weekend. We're not going to see all four of these guys or a combination of all these guys together at pen relays. When else do we have time for a relay mate throughout the entire year? Drake relays, same weekend as Penn relays. They're everyone's gearing up for an early world championships in Eugene. After that, maybe, but a lot of meets don't run the four by two, which is why that record stood for 20 years, right? We're not seeing high quality teams put together a four by two. So I don't think the record is gonna go down this year, but this kind of just puts in context the depth of the 200 meters, not only the United States, but all across the globe right now with the US athletes, with Andre de Grasse, with Steven Gardner, with a whole bunch of guys who are in contention at 200. But I think if the US put themselves together, they can run an extremely fast four by 200 meter relay. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think that world record could go down. Let me know if you think that world record in the 4x2 is going to go down. If not this year, which I probably don't think, maybe next year, maybe at the next World Relays, they should put one together. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again next time. Thanks.